According to official statistics, Honiton is on the rise. Cut. Shit. According to official statistics on crime and autism rates, Honiton is on the rise. Now, today we'll be looking at two individuals, Caleb and Ewan, who have suffered with autism for their entire lives. As you can see, Honiton is not the most architecturally minded town. Now, I'm going to ask my friend Caleb what he thinks of the architecture in Honiton. Oh man, it's got such good architecture. Come here, come here, I've got something to show you. Okay. Look, I know people think Honiton's not a very intelligent place, but they got a door in the top. So you don't need the stairs, you can just come straight out the top without the stairs. Hmm, that's very clever. Look. See, this eliminates needing the stairs. It's surprising that Honiton's rates of autism are growing so high considering their education system. Honiton Community College, a good school. So, I've decided to ask Caleb, who almost got into this school, what he thinks of it. So Caleb, what do you think of the school? Well, I never really got in, but I know a guy who knows the guy who got in. Oh yeah? How did he think it went? Well, yeah, he did really well actually. He was one of their top students. Oh really? What, did he get A's? A stars? I don't know what he got, bro. Mm, what's he doing now? Oh, he's on his level one bricklaying course. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, how far along through is he? Two years. Two years. Two years. Yeah, he had to do an extra year though. He's got to do an extra year. Oh, why is that? Um, because the brick lane course didn't, didn't have enough qualifications for it. Now, let's take a look inside the school. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> the school doesn't appear to be open to students at the moment. Um, that's strange. Could explain the autism rates and exceedingly high levels of unemployment in the Honiton area. My mate's been working on the school for two years. Wait. Not quite finished yet. Oh yeah? Has there been any setbacks while he's been on the job? No, just him. Okay. Here we have Honiton's Institute for the Mentally Deranged and Mentally Unstable Person. No, it's not. This is still the school. Fuck! So, Caleb, what do you enjoy to do in your spare time? Oh, I love to go to the skate park, so I'll call you. Looks like it's locked. No. Must be the coronavirus. What? What's the coronavirus? Hmm. It's a deadly disease sweeping the nation. Thinking about it though, it's probably been in Honiton for years now. It's not filming, dude. to one of my favourite spots in Honiton, the Honiton Conservative Club. Now, here me and my friends enjoy hobbies such as spitting on the poor, burning homeless people and breaking the lockdown rules. So what do you think of it, Caleb? We don't mess with no Boris Johnson. Say no to Bojo. So, I thought the best place to end the documentary would be at my house. This is where I live. Now, thankfully, this isn't actually in Honiton, so I've escaped the curse of autism. Bro, this is Honiton. My dad's house is literally just around the corner. What? But that must mean <laughs> this explains the tie. <laughs>